Hi, I'm Lamanda Joy. Welcome to the Peterson Garden Project Community Cooking School. In this space, we teach people how to cook the food that they grow and share meals with their families and learn about their cultural traditions. Today I want to talk about tomatoes. It's everyone's favorite vegetable, although it really is a fruit. And I want to talk about heirloom tomatoes, which I'm sure you've seen or heard about. Heirloom tomatoes are often uglier than what you might find in the grocery store. Sometimes they're a funny color. This tomato is green, but it's actually ripe. Sometimes they have stripes. Sometimes they have these beautiful patterns on them. They come in all sizes and shapes. And sometimes people are afraid to cook with these things because they're not perfectly round or they seem kind of strange. So I'm just going to show you how to take care of cutting a tomato like this. You'll notice it's got a little bit of this um, skin condition called cat facing. It's no problem. All you want to do when you're working with something like that is just slice that off. Just get rid of that. And then you cut it like you would any other tomato. I'm going to go ahead and just slice this into some chunky pieces because the dish we're making first is all about chunky. So I'm just going to cut this up. It's good to use a serrated blade when you're working with tomatoes. It seems to go through them easier. I'm just going to take these tomatoes and put them in this big bowl. And what we're going to do now is we're going to add some garlic. We've got some fresh garlic prepared here, and I like a lot. So I'm going to just go ahead and put that in and put three big spoonfuls of that in. And I promise it will be delicious. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of nice olive oil. And I like, I like a nice fruity olive oil, so we're gonna add a liberal amount of that. Then we're gonna put a little uh, salt. And a little bit of pepper. And now, a lot of the time when you're cooking with tomatoes, everybody says you have to use basil. Well, that's not exactly true. You can use a lot of different herbs. Today, I'm going to use some fresh thyme. And I've just plucked that off the stem. I'm going to put that in there. And I'm going to stir all of this up. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some pasta that I've been cooking, some hot pasta, directly into this. It seems kind of strange not to have a warm tomato sauce with your pasta, but actually the heat of the pasta warms up the tomatoes and it's really delicious. So let me go get that pasta and we'll go to the next step. So now it's time to make the simplest pasta dish known to humanity. It also might be the most delicious. So I'm going to put this linguine in here with this, um, these tomatoes that I've prepared and I'm going to go ahead and just mix that up. So now I'm just going to take some of this beautiful concoction and put it <coughs> in this bowl. I want to make sure I get a lot of tomatoes, so I'm going to go ahead and add some of those. So that looks delicious. A little Parmesan, just a little grated Parmesan. I like cheese. And then just a little bit pinch more of that thyme we used originally to make it pretty. And there you go. One of my favorite dishes. It's easy to make, it's delicious, it uses the summer bounty, and I'm sure your friends are really gonna like it. But wait a second, I made a lot of tomatoes, so I've got something else I'd like to show you. I wanna show you this. So we're looking at the same situation here. We're starting with these beautiful fresh tomatoes, but we're going to do something a little different with them. We're going to use basically the same ingredients. I'm going to go ahead and take some garlic, because you know I love garlic, and just add that in there. And in this case, I'm also going to add some capers, because they give it a nice tangy contrast to the sweetness of the tomatoes. I'm going to put a little bit of this delicious fruity olive oil in there. And then I'm going to go ahead and stir that up. So it's all nicely mixed. And a little bit earlier, I had uh, grilled some nice bread pieces. So I'm going to turn this into bruschetta. So I'm just going to go ahead and top each of these pieces with a little bit of this tomato wonderfulness. There we go. 
And I'm gonna put a little bit of Parmesan cheese on that. And you're ready for another wonderful meal made out of your fresh heirloom tomatoes. Now if you have more, which I do, you can make gazpacho out of this, you can make tomato sauce, there's all sorts of stuff you can make just with these basic ingredients of tomatoes, garlic, olive oil, capers, and a little bit of cheese. It's a great way to celebrate the summer. Another great way to share the bounty is to pair the, this delicious meal with one of these Tangley Oaks wines. Now if you like white, you can go with this 2014 Mendocino County. It's going to be fruitier, it's going to have some hints of vanilla and be tangy. It's going to be delicious with tomatoes. Or if you like red, you can do this 2013 Willamette Valley Oregon Pinot Noir, which is going to have some blackberry flavors, it's going to have some spiciness and a seductive finish. It'll be really delicious with both of these dishes. Thanks for joining me in the Peterson Garden Project Community Cooking School to learn how to prepare the bounty from your garden to share with your friends and family.